What is up everybody welcome back to the channel my name is flame 078 and this is perspective gaming here with another apex legends video and today's video is again all about the road to apex predator another episode another tips and tricks video another educational video talking about my journey this season for getting out of gold what I learned and what can I pass on to maximize your time if you're a casual gamer and with limited time so without further ado let's get to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is going to be a very different video. Um, if you guys have been tuning tune and you come from my other uh, Apex video that I just released alongside this one, it's the same kind of style, same input where, listen, let's just talk about how we can improve, what are the uh, things to look out for to really maximize your time. But this time around, I want to highlight three specific games and talk over them, talk about kind of the situations, things that I was doing during the game and stuff like that. Very different than what I did. So I please recommend to check out that video to also get, a, so you know, that dose to get you out of gold. Because this is right now, this we're getting out of gold right here, right? We're, we're in gold one, we're so close and stuff like that. And the first thing that I want to showcase is, you know, the use of this hemlock right now. You guys have been looking at me kind of slaying with this weapon weapon and the point that I want to go with is be okay with you know using different kinds of guns using guns that you're not used to gravitating towards for me the hemlock was such a gun even though it got a, a, a buff you know uh, the start of the season it's not something I gravitated towards because the hemlock I found that I was never really successful with but you know throughout my grind as I was playing throughout gold, I en ended up just using it one of a couple of matches and I realized I was doing really well. I was performing well with the gun. My shots were a little bit better. And you know, you know what? I just started stick sticking to it and I found going into every match trying to get the gun, I was like, oh, Woo, I felt like I felt really good. I felt good like comfortable. I was like, all right I can I can take on an R301. I can take on a Havoc. I can take on a Volvo with my Hemlock. It's okay And that's kind of the mindset I want to encourage everyone to have because simply put like right here I got lucky with this gun and I think this is kind of how I got started with the Hemlock It was one of those things It was another scenario similar to this where we drop and we had a team right in our landing zone And I kind of had to engage with whatever I had on hand and that's that time it was the hemlock and you know you have to go in there sometimes you can't just wait for the right gun to engage sometimes you got to just use what you got and go for it right and that's kind of what happened and that's what made me and prompted me to start using this gun a lot more right this match is kind of the culmination of that where i'm already comfortable with the gun i was like really happy and excited that i already had this gun right so but I'm just saying it only happened because uh, another similar situation where I just I needed to push with my team I needed to ensure that we kind of locked down our landing spot really quickly and that's what you guys need to understand and that's why it's always important to you know at least land with the team because that way you get that instinct of fight in ya you know in the last video we talked about you know the disadvantages no, of waiting man. too long of looting for majority of your matches what can go wrong if you do that so that's why it's important to be comfortable oh, with different kinds of weapons because you know the ground loot oh, the rng will not kill. always oh. be in your favor to give you your favorite Ooh, gun ow. and you know for oh, me shit. that's how i'm getting good with the hemlock now that's how i got good with the wingman you know and other types of guns that i didn't find success with oh, at first it kind of just kind of put me in that boat you know and another thing that i want to talk about alongside with being comfortable with your guns right and getting fights in early is uh, look and see right here we have 10 squads left and i have six kills with one assist pretty much max points you know for the you know how rp boost that you can get from being aggro right which we, we all kind of wish it was a little bit not capped at five but it is what it is you know i put myself in a good position where even if we were to you know go down right now 48 rp Sorry. that's that's pretty good in my book you know that's decent amount of rp to get it's not negative but it also moves you a little bit forward you know so that's something to keep in mind and that's why i encourage everyone to always rotate in a position where you can get into some early fights again because it, it better in the long run because you have to practice your fights you got to practice you know fighting um rotating and all that stuff like that 
But another thing in terms of we're talking about weapon, a recommendation that I can give yeah, is, you know, use the different good. firing modes for the various, various, can't even speak, the variety of guns oh, that we have oh, available, oh. you know, the Hemlock single fire has always been really kind of nasty, but again, it's one of those things that if you're not actively doing that, you're not going to think about the R301, the Havoc, or have different firing modes that you can take advantage of, and you'd be surprised how successful you can be if you just give it a shot learn how to use it because at the end of the day it just expands the arsenal you can use instead of always trying to think i need a mid-range weapon and a long-range weapon so like assault rifle sniper combo maybe you don't know. maybe you rock a wingman and an r301 because you know your r301 can handle long range distance with like a three times scope and single fire who needs a triple take who needs the longbow right that's what i mean about being comfortable and playing different kinds of weapons and you know the firing modes for certain uh, guns allows you to kind of experiment with that so that's something i've been practicing and getting better at so that way i have versatility so like yeah right here my loadout is an assault rifle and smg you would think that would just be mid to close range but you know i've been using that hemlock as a kind of distance weapon so I don't even have to worry about that. So another thing that I want to point out as we are culminating oh. this first match of this video is always keep in mind you gotta figure out and get your teammates you know you lose a teammate it might be bad but it's totally okay um no. work together i communicated with my teammate earlier hey you get the banner i'll get the res off and then you're better off with it sometimes it'll work sometimes it doesn't but remember this is a team game so use that to your advantage you know as we get into this second video, this second game, sorry, not video, game of this video, you know, now we're talking about, you know, end game. We're talking about the positioning, the, the RP you get from just winning matches, right? We are nine squads in compared to that last game where pretty much I had uh, plus 40 something points. I'm in the same boat, but I'm still negative until I get that you know kill confirmed right and as you see the difference right seven squads left plus six rp that last game i had seven squads left at plus 48 you know so take your pick you understand which what works best for you um either way it works but understand these numbers and i think it'll allow you to really play the game you want to play to maximize the time you know one of the things that i strive for right is what can i do to improve and create good success within the one or two hours that i get the game you know i work full time you know that's what this channel is about is you know the casual gamer we're not content creators we're not streamers logging in at 9 a.m and clocking out at 5 p.m just literally playing apex legends or any of your favorite games we have other things to do right so we have to think about the game differently and that's these are the things that i think about right here and for me particularly if you guys follow me on stream which by the way twitch.tv slash seven zero seven day this is where you get to watch me live battling it out for the road to apex predator um is i do a lot of solo queue right um sometimes i don't have a dedicated squad to play with about to get pinched, but right teams, here right here that here. you hear in the in the game play right i am oh, no, using my mic right i have it off for most of the time of this match but then i'm like i turn it on i'm like hey yo squad we have another team you know the third the second team out of the other out of the other one might come up from behind us makes these two aware of that looks behind us so that way we're not just pushing to the circle the we jump. stay on outside the, the circle a little bit to try to take this team um so that way we're not fighting um these two teams at the circle right and i think that's important i don't you know obviously mics and communication will always give you a better chance of success but i get it sometimes in the one or two hours you just don't want to talk to people you know for whatever reason and that's fine but always keep the mic handy yo just keep it muted and then if you need to the communicate what you need to do use the ping system as much as you can to communicate some of your thoughts but if you can't like that situation definitely use your mic will help you out in the long run so look at that two squads left 76 points of boom we're doing amazingly here right these are the things that we're looking for when we're in our sessions right um oh right in front of us
Never be afraid of the circle. Keep that in mind, right? We took that first fight and were successful. So, you know, we did this, you know. Imagine if we didn't. Imagine if I didn't communicate to my team. We have that team behind us. Imagine fighting the other, the two teams right here, right? That would be a different story. Who knows how that would have turned out. But look at that. We take a team v team fight and boom, we are crushing it. Auto switch and bam, champions. And that's it. Things could have been a lot differently, you know, but it's all right. Now, going into the last game of this mm -hmm. video, one thing to start off as we drop, right, is don't be afraid to land a little bit away from your teammates. As you guys can see right here, each of us took our own uh, buildings, which sometimes with randoms is difficult to do considering they like to drop in the same building uh, that you do. Or sometimes you do it with your random just because you want to be close because you see other teams landing with you and you're kind of afraid. Um, but I encourage you guys not to do that to maximize your, your chances of getting good loot. And then look, I'm not that far away. I can engage. I can get that, pick up that kill pretty easily, right? And I'm right close with my teammates so I can engage. So, you know, it may be daunting. It is scary definitely to not be right with your teammate. And you're not always going to be lucky. Sometimes you might land with someone by you and they get the gun and you don't. But it's all right. On top of that as well, as we miss these Eva shots, right? You know, your teammate's down. Your first instinct is to pick him up, but you don't. I encourage everyone to at least wait a couple seconds here. You know, I heard footsteps. I still heard the other person lying around. I needed to heal up because I wasn't sure if my teammate was going to be able to take that. But I feel confident he's doing a good job, and, you know, I go for the stick. You know, it's a team game. Obviously, you want everyone to be alive at all times, but... Don't let that cloud your judgment. Be aware of your surroundings so that way you guys are not caught in a really bad situation where you're sticking a res and then get clocked because your teammate couldn't, you know, hold off the other team members or maybe a third party comes. And along with that, with situational awareness, again, don't be aggro all the time. We saw the scan. We saw there was like one person left, but I didn't know what was going to happen. Maybe there was another party. I just decided, hey, let me heal up. It's okay to do that. Maximize, be aware, practice, you know, and then you'll only get better, you know, along with more situational awareness tips, right? Right here, we are kind of just poking it out, using the triple take to fire, Right, it's okay oh, that, to take these engagements, right? But there. always keep in mind, mind the time, mind where the circle is, right? Yeah. Check out what we do, you know, uh, after a couple of exchange I'm shots. They're gonna hold us. I thought I really thought path. I really thought Pathfinder was already over there. That would have been nice. That's why I started shooting. You know. That's like. Mm. I mean, it's alright. I'm okay with it. But like, I thought we would have been able to pinch them a lot better than what just happened. Checking by. So you see what we did there? My teammates were like, you know what? We're just kind of shooting shooting the shit, to exchanging uh, you know, sniper shots, and we're not really getting anywhere. We didn't get any knocks. So instead of continuing to try to take that, we disengage and rotate into circle from a different way. And now we know the other team is right there, right? They're coming through the tunnel. So now we can re-engage them in a better positioning. We have the high ground, and we can kind of do this, right? right from the get going we don't even have to worry about the ring rotating on us because we're already in circle so again always be aware be don't be afraid to disengage at appropriate times it's better to disengage and reposition than take a bad fight because you, most of the time you know you might you're gonna get unlucky and that bad fight's gonna and cost you the game oh my god i'm getting hit by two areas yeah and yep, fights are going to be drawn out. Oh, just oh, when in these points and these matches, when you're having your games, just be patient. Think about what you need to do. Don't rush situations. Take what you need to do, and then things will come your way. 
right? And like, look right here, my teammate goes down. Once again, this is a team battle royale, right? You find success when you have good team coordination. My teammate went down and now I got the portal. Let him, let us res in a proper situation, right? Oh, Octane's right here. Not a problem, I can engage. You know, it's not an urgent matter to get our boy back up, but we do get our boy back up and that is okay. We increase and maintain our chances of success because all three of us are still alive. Oh, no, the clutchness, baby. And you get a little pat yourself on the back because of that. So, you know, as we're closing out this fight, let's reiterate some of the things that we talked about in this video, in these matches. Be comfortable with different kinds of weapons, especially floor loot, at the beginning of matches if you want to be aggro and get those early kills. You know, you can't run around hoping oh, for your favorite geez, gun, baby. you know. Oh, Once you find a decent gun that's not a Mozambique in a P2020, be comfortable, engage, fight, get used to the gun, learn it, so that way you can find success oh. with it. And who knows, you might find a new favorite weapon, oh, you know, also... Shit. As we talked about, you know, those those early fights can bake or break it, but it's just the same if you just play it slow and get those wins with a couple of kills on your belt. Either way, whatever route you take, you will find success and be able to get that RP needed to rank up and maximize from that hour or two that you get to play some Apex Legends, right? As well, you know, talking about that, we also talked about being a team player, res the team when you can, be smart about your awareness when it comes to picking up down teammates, and uh, hold off, wait like one or two seconds before engaging. Make sure that your third can maybe take the rest of the team on and you know pay attention to maybe you, there's no third party coming your way. Um, but, you know, it's no, okay, to, right? Take that. And that's really it. If you guys liked this video, the way oh, I commented okay. over the gameplays, please make sure to hit that like button. If you want more of this kind of content and my topic videos, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate that and really experimenting on the two types oh, of videos. If you guys missed oh. for part one, please make sure to check that out. Link will be down below in the card somewhere. Um, so yeah, These guys got two but it is what it is with this kind of mindset. You rank up, you get to move Woo! forward. So make sure to keep wow. that in mind. Um, Thank you guys once again. I hope to catch you guys real soon. My name is Flame Zero Seventy Eight. This is Perspective Gaming, and until next time, adios.